right, guys, day three in Bangkok here, checking out of the Hotel Ramada. I'm heading to Koh San Road. If you don't know what that road is, I guess you might have to Google it. Crazy party, party town area, the whole strip. They got the markets, they got, they got ladyboys, woohoo! They got some sick bars. I just have to go see it for myself. I booked a hotel at Buddy's Lodge, and right now I'm just waiting on my taxi to come get me. So, more adventures, let's go! All right, guys, Cold Sand Road, going to Buddy's Lodge. We got cash, we got everything here. Thank you, my man. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right. Wow. This is daytime. I mean, daytime, it looks crazy. You can't even imagine this place at night. Damn. Pretty sick. Let's get to this uh, hotel. We're going to check it in. I'm just walking out on uh, Coast Sand Road and bam! Weed City. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Alright guys, Tuk Tuk's, you guys know how they are. Okay, This guy's got a uh, actual setup. Where do you got to go? Yeah. He Big, says that we can go from... Big Standing Buddha. Big Standing Buddha. Lucky Temple. Lucky Temple. Toilet Office. To the office, yep. Golden Mountain. And how much? 100 baht. 100 baht, guys. You guys heard it. Cheap, cheap, cheap here. Now? All right. Can I get uh, mango sticky rice and uh, orange juice? Oh, my God. Got some mango sticky rice coming. So I'm sitting here in some, I don't know what, what cafe I'm at. Right across the street. Weed. Right down there, weed. <laughs> weed right there. I mean, they got they got the weed covered on Cold Sand Road. But the prices on it look a little expensive, so. I'll give you guys a quick video when I uh, walk into one of these dispensaries so you guys can see what their weed is. We're looking for Thai stick. If we can find some nice original Thai stick, maybe get some seeds up north, bring them back maybe. We'll see. Let's try this uh, mango sticky rice right here. All right, guys. The day has come where we are trying mango sticky rice. Look at freaking that. Now, I've been watching vloggers eat this stuff and saying that it's the best in the absolute world. Get some of the freaking mango in here, get some of the rice. I mean, I gotta. Phew, okay. I, I can't even describe how that even goes together. It's like. How do they even make this? What is sticky rice made of? Like, this is this is crazy. It's crazy. I give this like a dessert and a breakfast. Like, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Yeah. So, Coast Sand Road over here is kind of a backpackers paradise. See all these backpackers. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of people backpacking around here, and uh, yeah, it's just. It's just busy. First thing in the morning, this busy? Damn. So, uh, let's find one of... Uh, we're at 7-Eleven. Getting some electrolytes. Car charger thing. Some olives. <laughs> Alright, we need a morning joint. This is what we're going into. Just since weed. That's what we got. Really just probably looking for a pre-roll or something here, but... Let's see what they got. OG Kush, Pink Kush, Black Runts. They have ice cream cake. Oh, just straight ice cream. Ooh, ooh. There's Black Runts. That looks pretty good. We got Purple Kush, Blackberry, Apollo 13, Blue Moon. A lot of their boats are kind of small though. Uh, Super Kush Sativa. 24 karat gold kind of looks like us. It was C. Ugh, that weed doesn't even. That doesn't even look good. Blue cherry gelato. Let's see what we got. Is there anything that's sticking out to me here? Kaffa cooked that. That looks fire right there. And ice cream cake always looks fire. I mean, I've grown ice cream cake before. That's a good. That's a good screen. Well, let's just get a couple pre rolls. And we'll get right back to you. Might actually have to come back for this one, guys. Kaffa Kush. 
32%. I mean, that stuff looks really good. Wow. And right up there with the ice cream cake. Well, just like at Fat Bugs, guys, um, they have a smoking room right upstairs. So you don't even got to, uh, you don't even got to go out in the streets. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This is perfect. Yeah, this is my home. <laughs> Let's burn this joint. Make sure all your money, guys, is brand new. They won't take that right there. There's a rip on the actual bill. This is no good. No good. See that? Can we take the what? At the bank, I'm not sure. At the bank, they might take that, but at an exchange place of money, they guess they won't take it. So sure. have your bills really good. All right, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna go get another massage here. We're at the freaking uh, coastline road time massage, so we're just gonna get a foot massage, just make it happen at the same time. So let's get it done. Take off your shoe, please. Off the shoes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, slip is on. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> Purple cow. Oh. Right. We'll be back with you. I'll start off with a foot scrub. That's what I need. We need the wife to do this at home, actually. We should, uh, <laughs> somebody should tell her that. Yep, current situation. One hour foot massage. Yeah, I won't even believe this. Now we're gonna get a time massage. That's what I'm talking about. Now, guys, um, I now live here because this is amazing. You know, I even this is just wow. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. All right, all finished up. My shoes here. So. All right, well, that was life-changing. Let's go check into the hotel. Oh, boys, we have made it. Kosan's Kush Club. Wake up, Barbies. Ken is gay, it says. That's what we're talking about. Check it out. Kush Club shirts. This is what I'm picking up. Picking up the Kosan Kush, 25%. Oh, they got the Louis Vuitton. The Wild Tie. How are you? I mean, some of the bud looks, looks pretty fire. Creative. Definitely a good little setup here. All right, let's get this joint. We're still trying to go check into the hotel. After that massage, I kind of just blacked out almost because it was so damn good and relaxing. So, all right. Buddy's Lodge, boys, right on Coast Sand Road. All right, 521. Come on. Is there a slot? Oh, there we go. All right. Hot as balls in here. But... All right. All right, we even got a little balcony. All right. We got some elephants. This ain't that bad. 30 bucks. Yeah, not bad. Oh, this is pretty nice. Pretty badass rooftop pool. Oh my guy, right here. Alright, get him here. Uh, just grab a regular uh, chain. Alright, well, you know why we're here for this. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Check out these elephants, bro. <laughs> Just pissing elephants. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Where's my beer? Look at my beer. Look at my beer. <sighs> Never mind, now we're perfect. So I figured I'd actually, uh, I'd actually take this time to talk to everybody about why I travel so much. 
and uh, what I think about while I'm traveling. So, I mean, I'm 43, and we basically stop traveling when we're in our like 70s. And you know, we stop slowing down. We really can't get up those stairs too much anymore. And from what I see, okay. So, I got I got 30 more. I'm 43, so I got like 30 more winters, 30 more summers to actually travel the world and see every continent that I, I want to see, every culture that I want to immerse myself in. And uh, I just think that that's what we're here for. We're here for new experiences. We're here for seeing new things, trying new things. And uh, if it's on your brain, you should just go do it. So this travel, me traveling everywhere, it's just, it's on my brain and I have to go and, and just do it. Um, so that's kind of why I like to travel so much. And I have a really, really accepting wife that allows me to do these adventures. Shout out to uh, my wife, Bates. And uh, yeah, she allows me to do these things. But, oh yeah, check that out, guys. All right, so that's why I travel so much and uh, I appreciate you guys following me. There'll be more countries and there'll be more amazing content because if I haven't been there yet, I want to go there. You know, I want to do Egypt, I want to do Indonesia, I want to do Philippines. There's a lot, Vietnam. I mean, we're going to be coming back, we're going to be doing adventures and uh, yeah, bring this GoPro with me. Thanks, guys. Even when it's pouring rain in Bangkok, it's still it's still awesome. I mean, it's pouring right now, but you know we're at the bar, so it really doesn't really matter. Look at that. Uh, I mean, we gotta negotiate a price here. This this tuk tuk yeah. is not making any money sitting here. So, YouTube Live, it's not making any money. Let's do let's do 500 baht, 30 minutes. Yeah, 500 baht. 500 baht, yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah. Let's do it. Sure. You're gonna bring me to a few places. Yeah, yeah. All right, say so it's gonna bring me a few places. Uh, All right, you ready? You got some temples? Let's just go to some places. You go to temple? Let's just go by them. Let's just go by them. Not going fly, in them. Fly. Yeah, yeah. Fly, 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 fly and ride. ride. Okay, we'll pull over. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll pull over. I'll get a picture and we'll leave. Let's get it done, boys. All right, what's your name? Huh? What's your name? Koi Ta. Koi Ta. Oh, Jesus Christ. Free, freedom. Yeah, freedom. Freedom, yeah, freedom. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop it, so, so, see where we go. All right, so we uh, negotiated 500 baht here just to have him drive me around for like 30 minutes. And, uh, go to a couple sites, so it's not too bad. I just don't feel like walking, nor do I want to ride a bike or anything like that, nor do I want to keep renting a grab taxi, so. Yeah, we'll just uh, put your around here. This is, uh, this is definitely the way to travel here. It's definitely better. Nice. You know? Grand Palace, boys! Man, they got some walls on that thing, huh? Yeah, if everybody asks why I'm not going in there, it's because I got to don all the elephant gear and sweat my bald unis off just to have to go in there. So, yeah, it looks cool from here. It's a temple. They're probably all the same, you know. It's that temple life. These guys are just crazy. We're going into oncoming traffic. You know. Oh, shit. I don't know how they don't hit nobody. Be great footage if we do get into an accident and I get like ejected. Like, hopefully, the GoPro is on at that moment. <laughs> oh, God. Talk about the scariest looking alley I've ever been down. Oh, I think I have found it. 
reggae bar. <laughs> I don't want to go buy this thing. Okay. I just wanted to get here. All right, let's grab a drink. What's up, my man? Can I get a uh, a shot of Fireball? All right. Yeah, it's one shot. Yeah, dude, the atmosphere in here, I'm telling you. You're feeding on the walls as you're going by. That stuff's sick. Sick. Definitely putting my sticker up. I mean, look what we got. It's like a, it's like right down an alleyway. You wouldn't even you wouldn't even know it was here at all. You would not even know it was here at all. But it's here. Awesome. I love I love dive bars. Uh, yep. I'm gonna do the, the cricket as well, yep. Well. So you're gonna get the scorpion, the worm, and the cricket. And uh, let's try this stuff out. Okay, so we're getting sprayed a little bit. Oh yeah, sauce. Oh yeah, yeah. You might as well just yeah. Put, put whatever you think I need on them. Pepper. Yeah. Just throw a little pepper on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. 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 All right, let's find a uh, table and uh, let's just try this stuff out. I'm gonna try to find a quiet area so you. All right, let's see if this can see me, see me good here. All right, so you guys know that I wanted to try some of these little guys here for a while. We got a tarantula, fucking scorpion. They said this is some type of worm, and then we got this giant cricket. I mean, there was a lot of other bugs there, but these seem like the most scary looking ones actually out of all of them so it's kind of why we're here doing it so all right so we're gonna start off with the worm okay i don't know what these things are gonna taste like i have a beer here so i can i can chase this thing down because this thing might get a little hairy we're already sweating just thinking about this right now but all right all right so this is i think a tree worm or something like that she said she said some type of worm or grub so uh all right I mean, the texture is kind of like a potato chip a little bit. I'll eat the whole thing at that point. Um, all right. <clears throat> all right, a little chewy. A little chewy, but... Oh, okay. All right, that one actually wasn't even that bad. All right. That one wasn't that bad. All right, um... Cricket. Cricket. Really fucking big cricket, actually. I mean, this thing is fucking, this thing's humongous. Thank you, my man. I might be some napkins, so make sure this thing's still recording. Yeah, we're good. All right. All right, so, cricket. Should I go for the head? Or should I, like, go for the butt? We're a head kind of guy. Whoa, completely different flavor on that one. Oh. I don't know if that was a gag reflex or not, but I mean, try the butt. There, anything you eat to hold it. Oh, I got a wing. I got... Oh, I got a wing for like two. All right, all right. We're not eating the wings. The wings are unedible. Oh my God, dude. The wings, those things, the things, ah, that's unedible. That's, that's definitely unedible. That's. Uh, I keep chewing. I'm gonna keep chewing. Just I'm gonna swallow it. Oh, okay, we got it down. We didn't puke. All right, those were the easy ones. Okay, so I'm gonna think out of the two here that the the tarantula is gonna be the worst one. So we're gonna go to scorpion. I should start with a leg probably. Um, right. scorpion leg, right? Ah. Uh, that's, that's hard. <laughs> that's like eating. <laughs> it's like eating a shell, like a, a pistachio shell. Um, I mean, yeah. It's not good. I mean, uh, we're not even going to chew that. I kind of want to know what the tail tastes like. They cut off the, like, venom end, but no, the rest of this looks pretty good. The butt taste better. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. 
Oh, well, yeah. no, none of that tastes good. That's that's a negative. Negative on a scorpion. Oh, oh God damn it, that's gross. Ugh, but they got me to buy it anyways. All right, all right. We're sweating. We're gonna have to wipe sweat off. Let me breathe. <clears throat> Get another swig of beer before we do this. Tarantula. Yeah. Alright. So good here. Alright. <clears throat> Man. Alright, the tarantula. I'm gonna start, I think, with with its legs and ass or something. That, that's kinda wild, but I feel like I'm gonna try here. So let's go in here, ready? Oh! Oh, it's like a pasty sock. I have no idea what this tastes like. I mean, it tastes like a fucking spider, I guess, but it tastes like mud. Like, like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not that, it's not good. <laughs> All right, that's not good. Oh God, that's just, oh. Now it leaves this crazy bad taste in my mouth now. All right, so we tried. I mean, we went. I mean, I'll. I mean, I will try it. Let me just try a fucking leg. All right, the legs are not bad, but that. Ooh, I forgot about the little fangs. I can only describe this as this is my this is like what it would taste like to eat butthole or something like it's not good. All right, so that's not good. But we tried them. That's what I wanted to do, <laughs> and now I know, and I did it for you guys. All right, so subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. We're gonna be going to as many countries as I possibly can, eating crazy stuff. Whatever I can, whatever I can try, I want to eat it. So. Later, guys. All right, you guys tell me, should I do a part two? Should I do a part two? Should I actually eat the centipede? And then they got a snake. I, I didn't even see these ones before. Should I do a part two? I mean, how many spots that? I mean, 350 baht. What do you guys think? I mean, should we, should we go for that? Uh, let's hold on, let's hold on, hold on. All right, so uh, weed store real quick. Found these fucking brownies. How many milligram? Uh, 120 milligram. Yeah? 120 milligram. 150 right. baht. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Give me. Give me a cookie. We'll. We'll okay. take a cookie. Oh, on there. Uh, just. Yeah. Just one cookie. Just one cookie. Okay. 120 milligrams. Do I trust 120 milligrams? Probably not. But. Oh, orange Kush. We got Skunk Hero. Purple. It's not too bad. I'm trying to rip off this fucking package here. 120 milligram cookie. That's what he says. I'm gonna determine if it's a 120 milligram cookie. Oh, okay. I can taste the weed in this cookie, so. And it's 7.20 at night. Mm. All right, let me eat this cookie. I gotta get a beer. This thing is dry. But all I do is I just taste the weed in it, so. Let's get it, boys. Maybe I need like a mango smoothie. I need something. <clears throat> Who wants to know how much gas and diesel is in Thailand? Well, all they gets 95 and then diesel. So 95 octane. We don't even get that. It's because they dilute our shit into nothing and everybody makes out money in America. Because America literally sucks. That's where it's at. It sucks. America's not the greatest country in the world. We get butt raped over the coals every single day and we take it. It's bullshit. We should stand up. That's it. All right. 
I'm in the 7-Eleven. This edible is kicking in fucking hard. I'm looking for an edible reducer. Huh? <laughs> I'm going through all this. I'm looking at all these little fucking good night things and, and things that I'm realizing that this edible that the guy said was 120 milligrams is definitely not 120 milligrams. This thing is probably 250 right now because this thing is kicking in hard. I'm 10 minutes away from my hotel. I gotta get there. Whew, this is gonna be interesting. All right, see if we make it. Don't beg you, but at the same time, it's kids. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Cup of coffee. But, like I said, you gotta get back, so. This video should be sponsored by 7-Eleven, boys, because here in Thailand, you live on 7-Eleven. They have everything you need. <laughs> Oh, shit. I don't know what's going on here. But... <laughs> this is awesome again. So I'm not like a really huge fan of the touristy places. I mean, there's just so many people. I mean, you really come for the experience itself, just to kind of see what the crowd does, but love to get some off the beaten paths, you know, and see something different. So we'll see what we got here coming up. Never know. because I gotta be able to edit it. We're uh, stopping the end of the day off here at the reggae bar, so that's where we're going right now. And uh, get back, get back to it. 